Hey, what's up everyone? Bubble Kings here. Today we're going to be playing some Hearthstone Arena. So let's get started. Um, mage? Or warrior. People have been saying warrior is really good recently, so let's go warrior. Okay, well. Hmm. Sparring partner or defender of Argus? Hmm. I think it might be better just to get sparring partner because... You need to get a lot of early drops as warrior. Um, Gathers and Jousters will probably lose a lot of the time, but um, let's get Clockwork Nine. We're most likely going to get a mech, and it's probably better than Jouster. Uh, let's get a Iron Beak Owl for a Silence. Obsidian Destroyer is really good. Um, these are all pretty bad. Um, hmm. we got free battle cry, so let's go with crowd favorite. I think. Um, Ogre Magi. Let's get another Obsidian Destroyer. Uh, let's get a Rafi Weaponsmith. Death Spide weapons are always nice. Um, let's get a King's Defender. Oh, I think it might be better to get a death spy here. Uh, hmm. Let's go with Silent Knight. We need a free drop. Um, Morgan Infiltrator is a really good one drop, but Obsidian Destroyer is a really good seven drop. Hmm. I think we should go with Obsidian Destroyer. Uh, let's get a Sludge. Uh, Dark Iron's really good. <laughs> um, Blood Fane Raptor. Lepinome. Hmm. Okay, so we need to get some early games, so let's start. Getting some low drops. Mortal Strike. Hmm. Four damage. How many four We have a lot of four drops, actually. We don't have a six drop. And I've never played Wobbling Grunts before, but let's try it out. Um, let's get... I think we should get a Stone Splitter here. Over the um, other one. Because even though we don't have that many 6 drops, we just don't have that many early drops. Uh, let's get some Haunted Creep Odd. That's a really good card. Oh, these are all pretty bad. How many death rattles do we have? One, two, three. Um, I think that's it. Four, five. We have five, but two of them are late, so we really only have three. Uh, I think we're going to go with the Grizzly here. Uh, should we get another Silence? Hmm, might be better to get another Silence. We have a good amount of two drops. Hmm. We also have a lot of four jobs. Um, yeah, let's get to silence. Uh, another blood fin, it looks like. We don't have any max besides the uh, Clockwork Nye. This doesn't really work with a Clockwork Nye, though, because you want to play it early. Um, yeah, I guess we're going to go with Buff and Raptor. Hmm. I think we should go wall both just some one drops. Um, these are both terrible, so let's get a shield block. Fierce monkeys are really good. Um, force tick? No, let's get spectral now. Um, hmm, master jester maybe. I don't think we'll win the battle cry much, but for the jester, um, yeah, because. We have such low cost minions. But we'll see what happens. Okay. Well, we do have a good amount of early game. Might need some more wind up. Well, it's like really bright there for some reason. That's a bit weird. Anyway, let's begin. I think we might need a. Need a. Hmm. Like, I was worried you need to have a lot of early game minions because your hero power is practically useless. So you need to have, um, yeah. 
We need to out temper them early on. And then play some big guys late. But I don't know if we have enough one drops to be able to beat all of these people. Oh, Paladin's a really bad matchup for Warrior, actually. Okay. So we're gonna mulligan all of these because they're probably our highest costing cards in the deck. Um Okay. So we have a lot of free drops here. Uh, the owl's pretty bad because we don't want to play it on turn two. Unless he plays a shield and, shield and mini bot, it might not be too bad of a play. Okay, let's play the Matter Bomber here. Get something on the board. If he plays a minion, we'll play King's Defender, I think. Okay. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe it's better if I play the Iron Grizzly here and then King's Defender next turn. Hmm. Okay, let's do that, I think. And we'll go face with this. Let's see what he does. Okay. That's not too bad. Let's go... We'll play this this turn, I think. And we'll just go face some more. Getting some nice early damage down. We, we, we should be able to put a lot of pressure on him later in the game. Okay, so let's trade this in. Silence the Drake. Weapon up. And then kill it. It might have been... Oh, we actually misplayed it. We should have... Um, Ran the Silent Knight into the Twilight Drake and then ran our face into the Matter Bomber. We would have saved um, one life, but yeah, it's not that big of a misplay, but one life is one life, so it would have been nice to have. Oh, the mummy! Oh, it's not mummy, it's snakes. Oh, it's mummy! Okay, uh, let's play the Jouster here. Let's see how we go with the Joust. Okay. Yeah. We don't have that much of a chance of winning the Joust, but... A lot of car, um, a lot of decks in the arena have such... Um, so many low drops. You have actually an okay chance of just getting lucky and winning. Even if your deck's, um... A lot faster than them. The There's... Okay, let's play Obsidian Destroy next turn. Get some taunts out. I think we should run the Master Jouster in. Or should we just go face? It might be better just to go face here and put a lot of pressure on him. Let's see. Hmm. Well, this is sort of good. If we run the owl into the Arja Protector and we play the Obsidian Protector. He's gonna waste one of these guys on the taunt. The one one taunt that he spawns. So let's do that. So that way he's not able to kill anything on the board without playing like a spell or a charge. And he will lose his divine shield on one of the minions. And we have lethal next turn if he can't clear the board. What's he have? Fast here. Okay. Die or die or both. Hmm. This is interesting. We can clear the board. Or we can just go face. Oh, I know. We can do this. We'll play the Leper Gnome. Um, let's play Crowd Favorite as well. And then we'll taunt up the Leper Gnome and go face. 
because you'll be two life, and then he'll have to kill off the leper gnome to be able to survive, and we'll win the game. Unless he has another heal. It's the only thing that's going to save him now if he has a chance. He should kill off his um, minions first. Run down to that and down into that. But yeah, that's a misplay. He should have ran his Scholar Crusader into the Scarab and this into the free damage. Sparring partner. That way he could have drawn two cards to try and get an answer. But that's good. Usually we have a really bad matchup against Paladin, so getting an early win's nice. What do we verse next? Find out. Warlock. Okay. Don't see too many warlocks in arena. These days, um, let's get rid of these five drops. Try and get some more two drops. Okay, we got a death bite, which is pretty nice. Hopefully we can draw into a free drop. But we should be fine. We'll probably get another f um, two drop that we can play on turn three. Yeah, that should be fine. Okay. Well, that's not too bad. We got a 2 free guy here. So we should be able to trade into it for free. We did get a free drop actually, but it is grisly. So <laughs> it might as well be a 2 mana card. So terrible. Okay. But yeah, we can play stuff on curve at least. Okay. Well, that's okay. We can still trade the grizzly into the dark peddler and survive. So it's not too big of a deal. What are we gonna do next? Does he have another dark bomb? So far, okay, two dark bombs. That's pretty good. Um. Hmm. We can play Dark Iron Dwarf here. And then we will be able to kill this even if it gets 4 life next turn. And if he plays like something else, we can Death Bite. This way we can attack with the weapon and the Dark Iron next turn. Instead of having to play. We played a weapon last turn. And then we try and kill this off. Wait, no. We would play the weapon last turn, kill off the Dark Peddler, but then we wouldn't have anything on the board. This way we can have a Dark Iron on the board and attack with weapon next turn. Which is a much better scenario. Um, let's go... Warbot, Silent Knight. We could have played, um, Despite here, but... I want to cut. I want to kind of bait out another implosion if he has it, or I want to just fill off the board so I can get off the death rattle effect. And the war boss good in this situation because he can um, get the rage effect against these two one ones here, and it ra um, practically turns into a two three, which is a two mana minion. Well, 2-2 two, two would be, actually. Oh, jeez. Hit Lord, okay. What is going on? Holy crap, okay. Um. Hmm. I don't know. Let's do this. I'd be surprised if he trades, just because... He's played Pit Lord, it seems like he's gonna go well at least try and go aggressive with her. Hmm. Okay. 
So we can go that spot here. Um, should we draw first? I think we should just take damage first. So we don't have a shield slam, but if we make, we can make him try and think we have one. So he'll be more worried or like not play some minions because he thinks they might get shield slam. Hopefully he runs into these runs. Okay, that's good. These are really good, actually. Oh, actually. Um, how's this gonna go? Hmm. We want to hit the right guy once. I don't know if we'll be able to get it though. Hmm. What now? Should we play the matter bomber? We need this to get hit once so we can run the wobbling runt into it. Hmm. Let's go like this. And it should hit those. Hit this. Okay, that's good for us. Um, and let's play Weaponsmith and Armor up here. This way we can, f like, I could have played Death Spide, but I want to get another minion on the board, so I played Weaponsmith. These guys look pretty cool. <laughs> I haven't seen them before. It's pretty funny. Okay. That's pretty bad. Um, we should be able to trade these guys in there. I mean, fine. Hmm, like... Should I take face damage here? I don't think I want to. So I think I just, uh, trade these in like this. And then start to fill up the board again. Now we need to try and keep this Ossidian Destroyer alive. So we can keep pumping out these taunts. Because we're behind in cards. And he can keep getting cards from life tap. So we need to get lots of value out of this Obsidian Destroyer. Um. I think we're lethal. Well, yeah, we definitely have it now. Okay. Well, that was a pretty good game. Yeah, I'm surprised he uh, tapped again there as well. It's because if he didn't tap, and I didn't have a better weapon, he... According to him, I had no way of uh, winning. I almost had like a charge or another weapon or a spell. It was his only option to survive, pretty much. I guess drawing a card is another option to survive, but... Mm, it's not that bad of a play, actually. Cause he's gonna get that card next turn anyway. Except this time he'll be on two health. I mean this time he would be on fifteen health when he gets the card instead of two health next turn. But he is two mana down, so if it was a, a high mana cost spell which would clear the board or something like that. Um he wouldn't be able to play it. Uh let's go keep King's Defender, I think. I'm considering keeping Iron Fang Grizzly just because it's a free drop here. But I think I want to try and get a 2 drop. Okay, this is good. We can even get a taunt for the King's Defender's uh, Battle Cry. That would be real nice. What's he going to do here? Coin? Okay, let's see what he has. Coin reinforce, okay. Um, that's a pretty good play, I guess. Now, I'm gonna give his minion taunt. Oh no, I should have attacked first. Oh crap. Oh. 
Well, it would have been a good play if I gave his minion taunt instead of my own. And I attacked first. Because this way he can't train to the Leopard Gnome. And I can train to the Silver Hammer crew. Yeah. Okay. So we missed two damage there, but... That was okay, I guess. That was a pretty easily two damage I could have gone. Oh well. Um, let's get King's Defender here. Run this into here. And the weapon into the Murloc. Hmm. We might have Consecrate, but we're going to play Ogre Magi next turn. So even if he does have Consecrate, we'll still have a minion on the board. Gee, this guy has nothing. Okay. Well, let's run our weapon into there. Just to keep our minions alive. We have a silence here, so... If he has anything crazy, we can just silence it. And once we get to 7 mana, we'll, if we can get 2 obsidian destroyers out, we'll be going really well. Like 2 one, one taunts a turn, it's a bit crazy. Let me think. Especially since um they're 2 separate minions, unlike Koga. So you, th even if he has... um. Uh, uh, two high damage minions. Oh, geez, that was bad bounce. Um, even if he has two high damage minions, he won't be able to kill it off. Um, okay. I'm considering playing the Spellbreaker here just for another minion on the field. Um, let's do that, I think. Because we want to have ball control when we play the Obsidian Destroyer. Okay, that was actually a nice draw by him. Um, I think let's Iron Beak this and just go face. Force him to trade into us. And this way we can trade the Owl next turn into one of the minions. I mean to the Fang Creep if we want. Instead of having to trade the two four mana minions. And then we can start pumping out these Obsidian Destroyers. Okay, are we gonna get a lucky bounce? No, we're not. Damn. Okay. So, I, we're gonna take the Volcanic Drake out here, probably. Okay. Then we're gonna fill up the board with Destroyers. Now, we just need this to live one turn and we have Lethal. Otherwise, if he has a Torn or something or a way to kill off, we'll just play another Destroyer. But we should have lethal. He's a pretty weak board at the moment. Like he's only gonna have three damage to be able to kill off the city and destroyer. And a lot of his four damage um cards are weapon. Well it's like true silver, which is a weapon, which if he runs into obsidian destroyer we win anyway. Cog hammer down is a nice draw actually. Um let's see if he runs in, that'll be really nice. Ah, uh, he's going face. Okay. Well, we're just going to play an Obsidian Destroy here, I think. To get some more taunts out. We should be getting two. That'll slow down his damage a lot. Also protect our Obsidian Destroyer. We should be able to stop him. Now next turn we might play low um not low fib, sludge belcher and uh despy. Just so we can get the weapon out and start killing off some of these minions. With our life. Okay. Hmm. What's he gonna do here? A volcanic Drake, okay. Ooh. Okay, let's go play. Let's do this. This way, he has to have a taunt. If he doesn't have a taunt, he's gonna lose. 
And we also protect ourselves against these two minions here because he has to run into the sludge belt with them. Because he can't run in with face. This isn't going to kill the one two that come out after. If he runs in face with this, he's going to uh, be in a lot of trouble because he's in one life. Let's see what he has here. Okay. Well, this is good. We're getting a lot of his born on to one life. And yeah, he doesn't have an answer. So, this is GG. That was actually pretty close. Luckily we made that play, otherwise we would have just lost all board control, I think. So what are we on, game three? Um, let's take a break here and then we'll come back in a bit. Okay, thanks for watching everyone.